Welcome to this second part on cubic functions, explaining maths.com. Eh? Check my website for more resources. But we found out that a cubic function, when we graph it, is a beautiful S figure. Yeah, like we can see here, it is a beautiful yeah S kind of figure. Okay, unlike a quadratic function where the highest power of x is a two, which is a parabola, or a linear function with one being the highest power of x, which is always a line. Okay. So we drew it in the previous video and now we're going to answer two questions about our graph. Um, it says use your graph to solve x to the power of 3 plus 1 equals 5. And the second question is by drawing a tangent, calculate the gradient at x equals minus 1. But okay, first, uh, first uh, things first, x to the power of 3 plus 1 equals 5. Well, x to the power of 3 plus 1 is my graph. And now it doesn't say equals y, but now it says equals 5. So what has been replaced? Y has been replaced by 5. So indeed the question is, when is your graph, when is the y coordinate 5? Okay, so I can draw the horizontal line, y equals 5. Eh? That is, on this line, my y coordinate is 5 all of the time. You do that with a sharp pencil, eh? m m a lot more accurate than I am doing right now. Anyway, that's the line y equals 5. And then I look at my graph and I go down, there we go, and I can find out then the x value when y equals 5. And if I look at here now, um, but you can do that uh, more accurately, I would say x is 1.6. Okay, and you would take your ruler, you look at the scale, 1.6. Okay, so x equals 1.6 just one solution one root yeah because that's the only point of intersection that's the only time that the y coordinate is five when i'm looking at this beautiful cubic curve okay by drawing a tangent calculate the gradients at x is minus one yeah because the interesting thing about these curves is that the gradient is not constant it changes all of the time yeah it's very positive very positive but it's getting sorry i'm gonna take this one yeah it is still positive, but it's becoming less steep, doesn't it? And now it's, it looks almost zero, but okay, it goes up again, yeah? It is changing all of the time. So to, to calculate the gradient of curves, as I showed you in my previous video uh, with, when we're doing parabolas, what do we have to do? We have to draw a tangent first, and a tangent is a touch line, okay? Just touching the line, just touching the curve at a particular point, x minus 1 in this case. x minus 1 is over here. So, and I'm going to take really good care. I'm going, I'll do it in green. And this is really important that you do this accurately, okay? So, it should just be touching my graph at that point. And uh, so I'm not cutting it really, just touching it. It's, it's, it's a tangent. And with a thick marker, it's quite difficult to do it properly. But with a thin, sharp pencil, I should say, you can do a better job than that, okay? But that's the tangent, okay. Now a line has a constant gradient, yeah? So I'm now going to find the gradient of that line, yeah, the gradient of a line, which is, yeah, rise over run, uh, delta y over delta x, yeah, the difference in the y direction over the difference in the x direction, yeah? x1. So you find two suitable coordinates, and then you can calculate the gradient. Well, the first coordinate is always given to you, eh? that's this one. Uh, what is the coordinate? Minus one, zero. And I gotta find another proper coordinate somewhere, a nice one. Look over here, beautiful point of intersection. What is that? 4, 20, yeah? Don't make any silly mistakes here. I'm gonna check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 4, 20, yeah. So the gradient is going to be the difference in the y direction. 20, take away zero over the difference in the x direction for take away minus one. Yeah? Careful with those signs there. 20 over five. So my gradient is going to be four, yeah? So if I go one step to the right, uh, gradient, one step to the right, I'll be going four up. And indeed I can see, first of all, it is positive, it's going up, and indeed it's a little bit less than five, but I've got quite a thick uh, marker, so it's perhaps difficult to see but um, I happen to know that that is absolutely spot on correct. Okay, explainingmaths.com, go to my site guys for more free resources, uh, more about functions, more about graphs, algebra, mensuration, 
probability, transformations, matrices, uh, just, you know, you name it and I've got it for you all uh, nicely organized. And like and share this video if it was useful. Okay, bye-bye.